this is your situation update for Hurricane Delta. Um, it upgraded to a hurricane last night, intensifying to a category two earlier this morning and then quickly getting to a category four strength, uh, which is which is where it's at right now. Um, it's currently located about 215 miles east southeast of Cosmo, Mexico, moving at 17 miles per hour, uh, which is a little uptick in in the speed um, and winds are at 145 miles per hour. Uh, the hurricane warnings are in red. You can see in, in Mexico um, and then the tropical storm warnings are in blue between uh, Cuba and parts of Mexico as well. In the next 24 hours, it's going to strengthen uh, a little bit more. Um, a major hurricane, you can see the M there, uh, is anything when it hits category three, um, it's considered a major hurricane. Uh, so it looks like it's going to keep that status for quite some time. Uh, so it'll strengthen a little bit more um, and before it first makes landfall near Cancun, Mexico tomorrow morning. And then after that, we'll see it downgrade and upgrade a little bit as it uh, goes over the Gulf of Mexico. Um, so it'll, it'll downgrade to a category three as it after it hits land uh, after Mexico, but then gain initial uh, additional strength to a category four while it's just moving through the Gulf of Mexico. Um, the current modeling also suggests that it'll grow in size while it's over the Gulf of Mexico, uh, meaning its impacts would extend farther out from uh, the eye of the storm. Um, the landfall has shifted slightly west uh, from what we saw this morning. So right now it's looking more of a uh, central, south central location in Louisiana, uh, Vermilion Parish, uh, which is just east of Cameron Parish uh, in Louisiana. Um, and that landfall again, which is what we talked landfall, we're talking the eye of the storm. Um, would make landfall overnight Friday into Saturday. This puts Lake Charles uh, and Orange, Texas to the west of the eye of the storm and then um, Baldwin County, Alabama to the east of the storm. Um, touching on Mexico um, and talking about impacts really in the foreseeable, you know, the next 24 hours or so, uh, about 1.3 million people will be exposed to wind impacts uh, in Mexico. Um, that's ranging from anything from trees down and power loss to what's considered catastrophic damage. Um, there are uh, different cancellations and, and just disruption to air traffic in the area um, and Cosmal Airport will be closed as well. Um, there are evacuations occurring, which also includes at least 40,000 uh, tourists as well. Um, they are using Cancun Convention Center um, as a shelter, as one of the shelters. Um, haven't seen too much dialogue about how Mexico is really treating COVID and, uh, you know, disasters together. Um, this is really going to be their, their bigger test um, at the moment. With that, I will hand it back to you, Jake.